Tiger Woods is set for a return to golf in just over a month after avoiding a jail term for drink driving. After nine months away from competitive golf the former world number one is set to return in the 2017 Hero World Challenge starting on November 30 at Albany in the Bahamas. I am excited to return to competitive golf at the Hero World Challenge, Wood said. Albany is the perfect setting and it will be great to join this outstanding field. I want to thank Pawan Munjal and Hiromoto Corp for their continued support of this tournament and my foundation. I would also like to thank the fans for their unwavering support during my injury. The news comes days after Woods pleaded guilty to reckless driving in a Florida court. But the former world number one has avoided a drink driving conviction after his arrest on May 29, and will instead enter a diversion program. Woods was said to have had five different drugs in his system at the time of his driving while under the influence arrest, including the main chemical compound in cannabis. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office released the toxicology report from his arrest in which the golfer was found slumped asleep in his car with the engine running. Woods was incoherent, but no alcohol was found in his system. The report shows Woods tested positive for painkillers hydrocodone and hydromorphone, anxiety disorder drug alprazolam, the sleeping pills Olpidem and THC. THC, or tetrahydrocalbanol, is the chemical compound in cannabis responsible for a euphoric high. Woods said his arrest came due to an unexpected reaction to prescription medication I didn't realize the mix of medications affected me so strongly he said at the time. He will now enter a diversion program offered in Palm Beach County for first-time DUI offenders. Woods is eligible for the program since he had no prior criminal record, cooperated with police and was not involved in a crash, said Dave Ownberg, state attorney for the 15th Judicial Circuit of Florida. Woods has already completed 50 hours of community service as part of the program, said Ownberg. This particular plea agreement has no jail time, Boso Pardo told Woods during the hearing. However, if you violate your probation in any significant way, I could revoke your probation and sentence you to jail for 90 days. Is that understood? Woods replied, yes. The hearing lasted only a few minutes. Woods, dressed in a charcoal gray suit and a gray t-shirt did not answer questions shouted by reporters as he left the courthouse in Palm Beach Gardens and was driven away in a black SUV. Father of two Woods was arrested about 10 miles from his home in Jupiter, Florida. Police found him passed out in his Mercedes-Benz, which was parked awkwardly on the side of the road and had damage to the driver's side. He insisted he had had an unexpected reaction to a combination of prescription medicine he was taking for his back. Woods had surgery on April 19, his fourth procedure to his back since April of 2014, and will not play on the U.S. PGA Tour this season. The golfer, estimated to be worth and pound, 585 million, has not played since he withdrew from the Dubai Desert Classic on February 3. The field for the Hero World Challenge features the winners of 22 major championships and 13 players who competed in this year's President's Cup, and it includes many players who produced the biggest highlights of the 2016-17 PGA Tour season.